Hello friends, in the previous video we have discussed ruby laser that is solid state laser, its construction, working, merits and demerits. Now we shall discuss one of the gas laser that is helium neon laser. So first as usual we define the outcomes. After watching this video, students will be able to illustrate construction and working of helium neon laser and state merits and demerits of helium neon laser. Again all these outcomes are related to CO3 in our syllabus. Okay. So what is helium neon laser? Now we know it is helium and neon and they are in the gaseous state. Helium and neon we know they are in the gaseous state. So it is the gas laser. We use helium and neon therefore it is inexpensive and it is low power. Okay, So these are the features of helium neon laser. Now we shall discuss the construction of helium neon laser okay it consists of a discharge tube it consists of a discharge tube we can see here this discharge tube and it is made up of quads this is the discharge tube and it is made up of quads on the two sides we can see this is m1 this is semi silver sorry this is fully silver and this is N2, this is semi silvered mirror. On the two sides, again we have two mirrors M1, M2. Now, this discharge tube it contains the mixture of it is filled with mixture of helium and neon in the ratio 10 is to 1. Means partial pressure of helium is 10 times that of neon. And inside this quartz tube, we maintain the pressure of 1 mm of Hg. Okay. And you can see here electrodes. Hmm? One is cathode, other is anode. And we apply the potential of 10 kilo hold. Okay. We apply the potential of 10 kilo hold here. Okay. And we have seen the proportion of helium and neon as 10 raised to 1 hmm? and 1 that is the neon and neon is the active center. Neon is the active center. Okay. Now there is time for reflection spot. I will ask you one question. Hmm? We have studied the construction. Here we there are electrodes and we apply the potential of 10 kilo volt. Okay. Now the reflection spot is what is the type of pumping used in laser. This laser, helium neon laser. You may pause the video and answer this question. I hope you have answered, but I will not give you the answer indirectly. I have given you the answer in the explanation of construction. Okay. Now again we come to construction. We have seen this construction. Now we apply the potential of 10 kilo volt. We have seen. And when very high potential is applied to the gas material and we know that gas is ionized. And when it ionized, electrons are separated. And these electrons are accelerated by this potential. Hmm? These electrons and again positive ions will be produced and they are accelerated. Okay. Now, there is collision between electron and helium. Hmm? And when this electron collides with this helium, it transfers its energy to helium and helium atom is excited to higher energy state. Okay. Now, the question is why do we use 
produce only helium and neon it is because the energy levels of helium and neon are similar huh? energy levels of helium and neon are similar and therefore we use the mixture of helium and neon now we see electron collides with helium and helium is excited to higher energy state now why helium is excited and why do we use helium and why neon is not excited because we know helium is lighter as compared to neon and therefore when electron collides with helium helium is easily excited to higher energy state okay now this helium it collides with neon hmm? this helium it collides with neon and it transfers its energy to neon okay and neon is excited to higher energy state okay now neon is excited to higher energy state okay now we shall discuss the working with the help of energy level diagram okay you can see hmm, this is the helium these are the energy levels of helium this is neon hmm, you can see there are similar energy levels ce3 huh? this matches with e6 and e2 matches with e4 here you can see the figures 2.61 2.66 electron volt so they are approximately same and e2 and e4 are also same okay hmm? now see how the excitation happens okay see how the excitation happens there is collision with electrons so helium atoms are excited to energy e2 and e3 hmm? now they collide with neon and neon atoms are excited to e4 and e6 okay by the collision hmm? now one more question i will ask now okay this is the time for reflection spot why the proportion of helium is higher huh? we have seen it is 10 is to 1 partial pressure of helium is 10 times that of neon why okay why helium is amount of helium is greater this is the logical reasoning question you think on this question and answer this question okay again we come back to energy level diagram we have seen helium atoms are excited to higher energy state and they collide with neon okay but see these are the excited state these are the excited state and therefore there is possibility that there is a spontaneous emission of helium atoms and they may not collide they may not collide with neon okay they may give spontaneous emission they may not collide with neon and therefore concentration of helium is 10 times that of neon so it enhances the probability for collision and therefore it is greater in concentration okay so after this collision of helium and neon we can see here neon atoms are excited to e4 and e6 hmm? so this e4 and e6 Huh? this is metastable this is also metastable and when there is excitation to e4 and e6 we get the population inversion okay and now we get the transition see how do we get the transition huh? this is e6 to e5 transition hmm? we get the photon and this is 3.39 see this transition e6 to e5 5 3.39 micrometer it is in ir region another transition we get e4 to e3 this is also stimulated emission huh? here we get 1.5 okay 
here we get 1.5 hmm? and this is also in IR region okay this is also in IR region this is 1.15 this is also in I region so these two are stimulated emissions okay and one more stimulated emission we get and that is from E6 to E3 okay this is E6 to E3 and this is 632.8 nanometer and this is our required emission okay this is our required emission okay this is required and we know it is in red region so we have to eliminate this ir and this is infrared these two 3.39 and 1.15 we have to eliminate and we want only this 632.8 so what we do for that okay what we do for that huh? we use quartz tube we have seen Huh? discharge tube is made up of quartz and that quartz it absorbs IR light so these are illuminate, illuminated by absorption hmm? one more optical element we can use or we can use Brewster window huh? this concept we have not studied so you forget about that just remember we use Brewster window to eliminate this I region it is based on Brister's law that we have studied in polarization hmm? and or we use Zeeman effect. Zeeman, in the Zeeman effect we apply magnetic field to the neon or to this discharge tube. We apply strong magnetic field and non-uniform magnetic field but we don't know about Zeeman effect so we forget about that. Hmm? And just to remember, using these three methods, we eliminate IR radiation and we are left with only this 632.8 nanometer. Okay, and this is very strong. Okay, now atoms have come to E3, E3 sorry, huh? then by spontaneous emission, they come to E2. Hmm? And again they come to E1 and they lose the energy by colliding with the one of the discharge tube. Now we know collision is continuous process. Okay. Again there is collision between this helium and neon and again these neon atoms are excited and therefore it is continuous process. Okay. So this is about the working of helium neon laser okay already we have discussed these points e4 and e6 metastable states and how to eliminate ir radiations okay so what are the merits and demerits of helium neon first thing it is very cheap and it is continuous laser it is widely used as monochromatic because it gives only one wavelength so we use in interferometer laser printing barcode reading we use it as a reference beam in surveying because it is highly directional we are using noble gases helium neon they are highly stable and we don't require any separate cooling system but the drawback is very less output it is only 70 to 100 milliwatt okay so in this video we have talked about construction and working of helium neon laser thank you thank you very much